So we want to be able to open any text files on our computer and we also want to be able to save the content of our text box into a computer as a text file. So we will need two dialog boxes. First, since we want to be able to open files from our computer, we need the open file dialog. So open file dialog is here, I'm going to drop it and I'm going to select it and rename it to something more readable like DLG open. And I don't want any default file name, so I'll delete file name. Now in our dialog, we want to be able to open only text files because that's what we want to read in our application. It's a text editor. So in the filter, I'm going to specify that I want text files only with the extension, it's going to be star.txt. And then I will specify the actual extension for the computer. So it's again star.txt. So this is what's going to be shown to the user when the dialog opens. And the title, I can say open file. So that's our open file dialog. And next, since we want to be able to save files, we also need save file dialog. So here's save file dialog from the toolbox. I'll drop it in and I'll rename it to DLG save. The title can be save file and the filter. We only want to be able to save it as a text file. So it's the same as the open dialog. So I'm going to go to open dialog. I'm going to select this and copy that. Go to save and as a filter, I'll paste it right there because again, we are only working with text files. All right, so we have our dialogues and now we can add these to our file system in our navigation. So we'll go to file and currently we have just new and exit. So I want to be able to also open and save. So here I'm going to click open, but I'll use the appresand to underline O. And next we'll do save. So again, appresand, so S is underlined. And I want exit last, so I'm just gonna drag it to the bottom. So now we have new, open, save, and exit. And while we add it, we can create events for these. So let's go to properties and events. And I'm going to select open. And when this is clicked, I'll go to a click event and create MNU. And this is gonna be file, open, click. Press enter and the event is created. And we can do the same for save. So I'll select save. And when this is clicked, we can have an event MNU file save underscore click and press enter. And now we have these two events. All right, so we are now ready to start opening and saving files. Let's start coding the logic for it next.